Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Melanie Dries. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Now let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. Great way to start this amazing day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Nia. Thank you, Melanie. Hi, Patriots. Today in history on May 2nd, 1933, the Loch Ness Monster was spotted for the first time. The Loch Ness Monster is a fictional creature in Scottish folklore. It is often described as a large, long-necked, bumped monster that lives underwater. This monster was spotted by a couple and apparently they saw the monster on land. Years later, many more people have reported activity from this monster. In 1975, the British universities launched an expedition using underwater photography showing that it resembles a monster with flippers like a turtle. Hmm, do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? Let's see what's cooking with Zarmel. Thank you, Nia. Today lunch is chicken and cheese quesadilla, mouth salsa, chicken and cheese sandwich, seasoned corn, lettuce and tomato pineapple tidbit, and your choice of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is strawberry banana yogurt, cinnamon graham crackers, Cocoa puffs, fresh fruits, 100% apple juice, and your trace of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time into our orange brand lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Zarmel. Students, this quarter of the sectional software challenge is ending on June 2nd, so make sure to check the flyer for the requirements and keep getting those lessons done. Scholars, the state testing season is Continuing today with 5th and 6th graders taking their reading fast tests. Good luck! Patriots, our cell phone policies still are in place. It's important to make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you're not allowed to shoot gum at school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. Sports fans, today our girls select football team has a game against Parkway at 4pm. Make sure to wish them good luck. Let's go Patriots! On May 23rd at 6 p.m., our Performing Arts Department will be presenting the Spring Show Concert. It's $5 cash at the door per person to get in, and all the funds will be donated to the Music Department. You won't want to miss it. The Lip Sync Battle is also coming up and it will be hosted by the Pines Cheerleaders on May 18th at 6.30 p.m. If any students want to sign up, make sure to stop by Miss Stone's room or ask your teacher for a permission slip slash song choice approval form. Pre-sales are now available on my school books. I can't wait for the show. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning and it closes at 7.55. Tomorrow is 5th and 6th graders' turn to shop. Let's keep racking up those points, Patriots. Last week, we had our fast testing pep rally. Let's take a peek at what was in this amazing show.
Wow, I love that rally. Make sure to click on the link below to see the full show. Now let's see what the weather's looking like today with Alexander. Thank you, Melanie. Good morning, Patriots. For today's weather, you can expect a nice 91 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. In other weather news, an Italian island is now reachable by foot. Italy's Lake Garda is home to San Biagio Island. To reach it, visitors would either have to wade through knee-deep water, take a ferry, or their own boat. However, due to low lake levels and current drought, the water is low enough to walk there on dry land. Would you walk to this island? I'm sure it would definitely be an experience to remember. Now let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thank you, Alexander. Today's birthday girls and boys are Amari Corbin, Angelisa Gobin, Brianna Knight, Rohan Thomas, and Joshua Paul Theresas. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Melanie. Thanks, Ariel. Patriots, here are your parents' invitations. You represent, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Stone, Ms. Pardinez, Ms. Sands, and Ms. June. You all have the correct answers to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what is the largest U.S. state? The correct answer was Alaska. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What kind of tree can you carry in your hand? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance.gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. When is it be announced on the next morning announcements? Everyone in RPTV would like to wish you a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.